Hi, my name is Guy Hamilton. I'm Executive Dean for Workforce and STEM at Shoreline Community College, which is located just outside of Seattle, Washington. My name is Pavis Shamlu. I'm the Executive Director here at Jefferson Institute for Bioprocessing at Thomas Jefferson University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hi, my name is Lena Wu. I am the CEO and founder of Intabio. We are an early stage startup Series B financing. We're located in Northern California in the Bay Area. My name is Alpai Heisel and uh, my job title is Business Development Executive and our company name Promexus RLP, which stands for Professional Mechatronic Systems. So I'm, I'm Greg Nyberg. I'm uh, the Associate Vice President of Biologics uh, Process Research and Development at Merkin Company. Yeah, my name is Eric Fallon. I'm the uh, global Head of Manufacturing Sciences for Biologics uh, and Small Molecule Drug Substance at Genentech Roche. My name is Tim Schralabois. I'm Vice President of Technology and Innovation Strategy for Biotherapeutics Farm Sci at Pfizer. I believe one of the major uh, advantages and positive outcomes of being a nimble member and being part of this community is the opportunity to meet new people. So Nimble has been really helpful to us as an early stage company. Um, oftentimes when you're um, the size that we are, you're obviously very resource and time limited, you know, being an early stage company. And it's oftentimes really difficult to find a way to productively engage with the big pharma companies who are our target customers. And also, it's actually sometimes it's difficult to figure out what is the most difficult problem that the industry is facing. And Nimble's been really effective in terms of helping us address both of those needs and both of those issues. Nimble has helped Genentech tremendously, I would say, to provide more shots on goal for um, innovative ideas and, and concepts that we can bring into the way that we manufacture, release, um, and test our our products. So both in terms of you know the the technical projects to help fill our, our innovation pipeline in the biologics manufacturing area, but also you know the workforce element and the strong partnership with with regulatory, with the health authorities, um, and the strong support of NIST has been a just a tremendous way for us to round out our innovation portfolio. And for the small companies to be able to reach like such a uh, big organizations, very hard. So nimble making like uh, these uh, gatherings all together and uh, with the, like tier one companies representatives, tier three companies like representatives and all together. So those meetings are a unique opportunities to meet with these like big companies and uh, explain what your like small company is doing to them. As far as benefits for small businesses, there are great opportunities for small businesses to get plugged into the large ecosystem of biopharmaceutical manufacturing to better understand the needs, challenges, and opportunities across the industry and how they can bring their unique talents, technologies, and capabilities to make a difference. The visibility and interaction that these small businesses have gotten through the national meeting format the past two years was a huge plus for them and for many of us in large biopharma. The great interaction that we've had between us and our, and our partner um, uh, companies, our collaborators, we had a meeting at the end of our project where we had a group discussion with all of our partners. And it was really valuable talking about how well our instrument performed, what it would be used for, why it was important. And that was unanticipated because we knew we were working directly with each of the pharmaceutical companies, but there was a value to that group discussion that was super valuable because we could hear, we could listen to our pharmaceutical partners and the analytical sites to sort of talk to each other about what was important. That was definitely unanticipated and wouldn't have come out unless we had that sort of structure of the partners supporting us and also multiple partners on our project. 
there are connections with some smaller companies where we, you know, where you know maybe our peers that we interact with in industry forums, we we tend to know. But some of the smaller technology providers are are, are tend to be folks that we're less likely to have, have um, run into previously. So, um, you know, one example: a small company in, in based out of Lowell, Massachusetts, that had an interesting technology that could be useful for host cell protein identification. So that's an example of a company that would wouldn't have naturally, um, you know, just just bumped into at a conference, but it was it was a great connection on the. So the one word that I think I would use to define nimble is collaborative. Network and the resources. If I could describe nimble in one word, it would be connected. Or maybe I should say connecting. Advancement. Collaboration. Accessibility. Things like collaborations, uh, partnerships. It, nimble is built on, on that. Boy, it's really, it's such important work that we're doing in this field right now, you know, preparing to produce vaccines on a large scale, um, you know, supporting clinical trials that are ongoing to, um, to support COVID-19 treatment. It's, uh, it's, it's really inspiring. I think this is as, as exciting as a time as ever to be, to be a part of NIMBLE and to be a part of this industry.